Hi everybody, my name is Bo and I'm a student at the University of Texas at Austin and today I have something really cool to show everybody. Um, there have been many antenna designs for wireless that have showed up on YouTube. Some of them are like the Pringles can antenna and some of them are the Yagi antenna and all of these antennas that you can make by yourself just buying some simple parts from Home Depot have one problem with them. They require you to spend something like thirty to fifty dollars and their performance is really narrow. As in if you um, have the incor incorrect measurements by as much as a few millimeters or half a millimeter you might end up with a directional antenna that actually gets better omnidirectional performance. So what um, this thing right here is it's an amplifier that amplifies the signal strength of uh, an existing antenna and so far I've seen no videos about the performance of these things basically I run a hotspot from my apartment and with this and combined with this 8 dBi antenna um, I can reach as far as three apartments down and still get a reliable signal so one thing I wanted to go over was the difference between a standard antenna like th this dipole antenna versus something like this. What the biggest difference is that these type of antennas can handle much more power and because they are la larger the proportions of the antenna tend to be closer to uh, what they naturally should be. Obviously if you have an antenna this small um, it's very difficult to uh, ensure precision of the, uh, the dimensions of the antenna and get consistency. So when you're adding an amplifier such as this one with a bigger antenna such as this one that can handle much more wattage, what you're really increasing is the reliability of the coverage as in you get less drop signals and you get disconnected far less. So a little bit about this amplifier. So again, this is the 1 watt amplifier for Wi-Fi signals. It comes with uh, standard cables that you can connect to any router, um, such as uh, actually any router with a reverse pol polarity SMA connector or TNC connector. So these are the very standard connectors that are on virtually all routers with removable antennas. And so again, I stress that this is a 1 watt amplifier, which is typically 10 to 20 times greater power than a standard home router. So what this means is that you're not actually going to get 10 to 20 times um, the, the uh, range, but because the uh, antenna actually produces a donut shape radiation pattern, so it's three-dimensional. Um, so the actual range that you're, you're going to get from uh, using this thing is the cube root of 10 to 20 so a little bit over 2 but uh, less than 3 so it's a major improvement but what this really does is it increases the reliability of connections that are mid distance for example I can cover this entire complex right now with just with this amplifier and people are not getting drop signals anymore so the reliability of the link within your average distance improves drastically. Um, after using this thing, the uh, within two apartments down, I'm getting um, a full strength bar as opposed to three bars and sometimes bouncing around to two bars. So um, again, this works best with B technology because B is less sensitive to noise. So you can buy this item from wifi-link.com and it's slightly under $100 and it's the lowest price that you can pay for something of this caliber performance and yet reliable and easy to install. Again, it comes in a box something like this and it has all the wires and connectors that you need and it even comes with its own antenna. So one last thing I wanted to go over was what's the difference between getting this power booster and getting a larger antenna? Um, idealistically, you want to do both because getting 
a high power amplifier with a bad antenna um, would not be optimal and the same would be true if uh, you were to have just your standard router with a very powerful antenna it wouldn't uh, propagate enough um, current through the antenna to actually be worthwhile you would end up getting more loss from the cable than anything so if you happen to get a combination of both um, what, would ha what would happen is that your signal will be less susceptible to interference for example you can see why that if your power wasn't high enough and you have a large antenna you might end up being uh, interfered by noise much greater than um, the sig signal that you're broadcasting so uh, again getting a amplifier would do the most for uh, blocking out other interference and uh, on the contrary you're, you might actually be <laughs> interfering with other people's signals because of how much stronger your signal is compared to theirs. I live in an apartment complex with at least 20 different uh, signals and they've saturated almost every single channel and for me to be able to get a reliable signal in this environment is apt to um, within two apartments distance is absolutely spectacular so um, I hope you guys all try this out if you're not getting the signal that you want and uh, please leave me feedback thank you